You're new. If it's training you want, we don't just take anyone. I'd appreciate training with a master such as yourself, but that's not why I'm here. Oh! King Pausanias asked me to bring the Pankration champion to Elise. Forgive me. I didn't know a royal messenger was coming. I'm Alcon, Testicles trainer. Alexios of Sparta. If I may offer some advice before you get him, Testicles can be... difficult. A gift of oil is known to put a person on his good side. Oil? A muscle rub. He believes it imbues him with the power of Heracles. Look in the village of Githion. His favorite merchant is there. Winning the wreath is important for Sparta. You think he can do it? The other day he knocked out six men and a bull. And he only went to the market to buy fruit. That's why I had to send him to the island. Where can I find your champion? I sent Testicles to train on a small island in the Bay of Hades. It's good for him there. Isolated. Away from people. Look for the shipwreck of Nestor on the southern shore. Can you tell me anything about Pankration? It's a mix of boxing and wrestling. A fearsome test of skill. Champions come from the farthest corners of the world to compete in Olympia, but not all walk away. I can't wait to see it. I need to get this champion of yours to Elise. I hope he lives up to your promise. Oh, he will. Look for his camp on the southernmost island in Messinia. Good luck. I should get that oil. Anything that will make it easier to get testicles to the Olympics. I see her. <sighs> Another slow day. Sorry, closed. I need oil, then I'll be on my way. There is a special one that uh, Testicles uses. Ah, for Pankration fighters. That one has to be made fresh by the master, and he's gone. I'm not leaving without it. You don't understand. I'm nearly free. You're a slave? Yes, and in a good position. Doing this would be stealing from him. I know I'm asking for a lot, but I need this oil now. I could come back and talk to your master, maybe explain the situation. What choice do I have? It's not bad, this life, if I have to stay. I'll give you the recipe, but that's as far as I go. You make it yourself. I can do that. Light a fire and gently heat oil of Athena to aid the infusion. When it's warm, just add a touch of cinnamon. Thank you. I hope it's worth my freedom. Let's see if I can get this right. It had to be heated. Now, what oil did I need? This one. The oil of Athena. I'll take some of this. Almost done. Now to add... This smells good. Everyone loves cinnamon. I hope he appreciates this. Ah, oh, it smells so good. I almost want to keep it for myself.
Never thought I'd actually get to see the Olympics with a champion, no less. Can't see the appeal. Everyone come together. This You'd think they'd just kill each other like everywhere else. That's the magic of the Olympics. That must be testicles. Just another drink. The fortification improves the stamina. Testicles! Another sip, then training. Good for the Constitution. What do you want from the great champion testicles? Can't you see I'm busy? I'm here to take you to the Olympics. Olympics? Fuck yeah! I'm going to be the champion. <laughs> champion! Cause I testicles! Good. Let's set sail. Oh no. Can't possibly go now. Training! See? And I don't know if I'm up to going sailing on your booty. I have something for you. 
A certain oil? My oil? Oh, I could kiss you. No, you couldn't. I've got your oil. You'll get it when we arrive. That's not fair! You don't want to use your special oil before the big fight, do you? Good point. Very good point. Let's get you to the Olympics then, huh? To the Olympics! The people need me! Well, we going? Uh, he better fucking win. Attention! 
Commander leaving the helm! I shouldn't go out any farther in this boat. has officially begun! Alcibiades, I'm surprised you're wearing clothes. The day is young, little goat. Are you here to compete, Alcibiades? Of course. I enjoy other physical exertions from time to time. Sure. Who do you think will win the most race this year? I will! Athens will surely rise to the occasion. I say Messenia! Has the sea air addled your mind? Sparta always takes Pancratio, and many others too. You might know a lot about the past, but you know little about the future. Who is that? That is Thoryevs, the reigning champion. He's bloodthirsty, competitive, and has endurance to spare. Jealous? I don't think so. We haven't come all this way to stand on the dock. Quite right. Should you ever need a personal sparring partner... You? A skinny little Athenian? I'm the champion! Or gonna be... Sparta! <laughs> oh, a pity your brain isn't as... big as your muscles. Let's get going. <laughs> I need to be oiled before I go to the games. Well, I would have been happy to assist if you were in any state to compete. I likes to be oiled. Well, that's obvious. Yeah. You know us. Come here. Gives us a hug. 
Like you're the champion now. I can't believe he's gone. Unprecedented. And you want me to compete in the Olympics? Stepping into a dead man's sandals. And testicles isn't even digested yet. Oh, come, dear Lexi. Show them what you're made of. And show me while you're at it. Where do I go to fight in the Pancration? The stadium in Olympia, naturally. I do love a good rough and tumble. You know people die in these events. What else goes on apart from the Pancration? There's javelin, which, of course, you know how that works. The athlete thrusts the long, smooth spear forward. Yes, I know. And then there's the foot races, and the horse races. Sweat everywhere. A delight for the eyes and the nose. I need that wreath for Sparta. If it means I have to compete, so be it. The event doesn't start just yet. We could look around first. Olympia at Truce is quite extraordinary. I don't want to be spotted here. Ah! 
Please, dear gods, can anyone help? Those Atlas swine have ruined me! Ruined! I find the gods leave us to fend for ourselves. Tell me what you need, and maybe I can help you. True enough. You look like you can handle yourself. Filthy swine stole my prized tools, though they are worthless to them. I am ruined unless you can help me. Point me towards these thieves. And I will bring the heavens down upon them. Praise Zeus. I am the artist, Podiklitos. Hunt down the bandits and recover my prize tools. Wait. What is your name, Mystios? I am called Alexios. By the gods. Could it be true? What? No, nothing. Please, recover my tools and I'll see you rewarded. I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight. I found your tools. I can't believe it. Maybe you really are from Olympus. 
Oh, my friend. I am flesh and blood, like you. Oh, well, at least those villagers from the new farm pay well. I need to get there safely. If you escort me, I'm sure they will treat you lavishly. What can you tell me about this village? Linu is a small region of devout villagers and farmers. Hard-working people, very serious in their beliefs. They hired me to make them a sculpture of, well, the Eagle Bearer. Really? Why? They know your name and your deeds, and believe you to be their savior. Why did you think I carried the blood of Olympus in my veins? Your reputation precedes you, and the villagers of Linu can't stop talking about you. Lead me to Linu Farm. I'll make sure you get there safely. Excellent. I'm sure they will honor you with gifts and riches. Then let's go. How did you learn of this village? My doctrine on beauty is renowned. Village priestesses came to my home in Argos and begged me to come and fashion a figure. <laughs> you came all the way from Argos? They offered good track me. What is the statue going to look like when you are done? Well, you, I suppose. Me? They worship the Eagle Bearer. They told me lots of stories. A pretty fair description, though I expected you to be taller. And to have a smaller nose. This theory of yours, who determines what is beautiful? Math! Math? Exactly. Beauty is an equation derived from the commensurability of all the parts of the body. From finger to finger, fingers to the palm and wrist, those to the forearm and the forearm to the upper arm, and like that, to include the whole of the body. Huh. Math. Gratitude, friend. You saved my hide. And you've given me great reference. Let us talk to the priestess Exioni and be properly welcomed. Good Polyclitos. You made it. Priestess Exioni. My journey was a test from the gods. But look what miracle they have delivered. Who is this? I'm Alexios. The Mystios you told me about. He appeared like a bolt from Zeus and rescued me from road bandits. The Eagle Bearer. This is an unexpected honor. Glad to visit. Uh, how have you heard of me? Certainly you jest. Your deeds are carried along the winds and sung through the stars. We are but a poor village, but your being here gives us hope to cling to in this hard world. And soon there will be a statue to capture a hint of your glory. To have our patron walk among us and give us divine fortune is a wonder. We will be eternally blessed. You are giving me honors I don't deserve. I'm just happy I could help Polyclitos. Great and humble is the Eagle Bearer. There are many lowly servants in our village who could benefit from a kind word from someone of your grace. Ah, uh, who are they? Uh, there is a separatist, Herifil. You can find her near the stable south of here. Akatos, the hunter, who has a small house on the west end of the village, and Menarkas, a young farmer. His fields are to the east. Who is this shepherdess, and what's her story? Herifil tends a small herd of goats. Recently, she had a scare in the forest, and lost two of her flock to wolves. What can you tell me about the hunter? Hmm. Akatos is worried he cannot provide for the village, since he recently injured himself. Perhaps you could ease his fears. Priestess, who is the farmer? Mm. Menalcas fears he is cursed. A visit from the Eagle Bearer could restore his faith and purpose. I will see what I can do for your people. Not my people, Divine Eagle Bearer. We priestesses are but humble servants of your exalted greatness. When you have spoken to them, find me. My sisters and I want to prepare a proper celebration for your portentous visitation. Huh. 
Gary, what is wrong, my friend? Are you really the high soaring eagle bearer? I have an eagle, Icarus, who travels with me. But sometimes it's hard to know if I'm in charge or if he is. So kind and humble. The grace of Apollo and the presence of Zeus. Well, uh, Priestess Exioni said you had a problem. Uh, tell me. I have shamed myself. Normally I hunt for my family and to provide for the village. But the other day I slipped and wrenched my ankle badly. I, I can barely walk. I am unworthy of your attention. You are not at fault for your injury. Go on. My daughter Mirto insisted she would go into the woods and hunt for me. She's brave, but still inexperienced. She has been gone long, and I grow worried. I'll find her. You must be Akatos' daughter, Myrto. Yes? Who are you? I am Alexios. The eagle batter? Some call me that, but I am just a friend. You've been gone a long time. Your father was worried and asked me to look for you. That's very kind of you. I hope he wasn't too worried. I'm sure we can ease his mind. I've tried to follow his lessons, but hunting is hard. I've had no luck getting the special deer meat he runs. I'm worried he'll be so disappointed in me. Ah, with a strong teacher like your father, I'm sure you know more than you think. Stay close to me, and maybe I can give you a few tips. Thank you. You are so kind. The trick to hunting is to find a spot where deer trails cross and to stand quietly down in the flat. Arthur says the same thing. I forgot to check the wind. Quietly. Right. Sorry. You need to get deer in the Yes. There we go. Dear neck for your father. See? Hard. But you can do this. You are amazing. I've learned so much. I will get the rest of the meat your father needs. Why don't you head home and tell Akatos what you've learned? I will. Thanks. Come on.
Eagleberg. I cannot thank you enough. Alexios, did you find enough meat? Providing for you is a simple task. Enjoy my bounty and share it with your village. Alexios hunts like Apollo himself. Show respect, child. Yes, Pater. It was my pleasure. Be well. Certainly is me. You are a shepherdess. You, you know me. You know me so well. Tell me what happened. I was herding my flock when it was horrible. Wolves, blood and screams everywhere. Did you get hurt? No. You protected me. I did? I carry your totem to pray to, to watch over me. But... I was so scared, I dropped my totem as I ran. I can look for your totem. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Where were you attacked? I was leading my flock to pasture through the forest south of the city. I know others have heard of wolves howling there on many nights, but I took a chance. Tell me about this totem. It's a simple thing. An eagle of rough wood and crudely fashioned. It does not come close to capturing your divine glory, but still, it has kept me safe until now. Ah, I uh, wish it had protected you better. No! It is I who must apologize to you for losing it. I feared you would be angry with me. No, no, of course not. Don't worry, I'll look for your lost totem. Spore. They must den near here. Blood trail. The pack went this way. One of Hierifil's flock. Or what's left of him after the wolf's breakfast. Terry Phil must have dropped this basket when the wolves attacked. That must be the den of the wolves that attacked Terry Phil's flock. Worth a look. Drag this bag here, almost like it was driven. Ah, here is the totem.
careful. Don't want to be caught here. Invincible Eagle Bearer, the priestess said you battled the wolves as if guided by the blood-stained Ares himself. How did she know that? She burns offerings of young goats to see signs of your passage. She said you found my totem. It was luck that I was able to find it. The wolves had dragged it deep into their den. Here you go. Gratitude, Eagle Bearer. Would you bless it for me? You don't need my blessing. Just watch the world around you. And you can call me Alexios. Thank you, Eagle... Alexios. Why have you forsaken me, Eagle Bearer? What have I done to offend all the powers on Olympus? How can I redeem myself? Forsaken you? I don't think we've ever met. Eh? Who? You? You? Yes, me. Tell me what's wrong. I have been cursed by the gods. They speak to me all day and night, filling my head with visions and fears. I cannot work and my crops wither. Why did the gods curse you? I do not know what I did. I've heard the voices of the gods day and night since I took over the farm after my father passed. The voices won't let me sleep, nor rest, and the farm is so much work. What is the curse? The gods speak of terrifying things. That the sky will open and drown the fields and my farm. That dark, writhing things will come from the ground and feast on my crops and on my flesh. That the earth will open and swallow us whole. I'll take a look around the farm and see if I can find out what has befallen you. Thank you, Eagle Bearer. You are of Olympus. They will listen to you. But first I must determine if this is truly the work of the gods. Or if your plight is of a more earthly nature. The water in this pot reeks like the sticks. Maybe the disease is seeping into the water. This seems like an earthly cause, not a sign of the gods. Hmm. These crops stink. Could that rot affect the mind? Huh. I wonder if all the crops in the silo are the same. These vases were dedicated to the gods. If Menarchos broke them, the gods might be angered. Demeter and Dionysos might have sickened his crops and polluted his mind. Look at this little guy. These offerings look abandoned and long neglected. Not a good way to honor Demeter or Zeus. 
Menalkes is a sad case. Thinks he's been cursed by the powers that be. I told him that's ridiculous. Why ridiculous? Because if you wanted to punish him, you'd just smite him or have an eagle fly down and eat his eyes or the like. Huh? You wouldn't curse his harvest. I wouldn't? Of course not. You're the eagle bearer. Arrow of Apollo. Shield of Ares. Child of Zeus. Not the master of blighted crops. That's beneath you. So Menalcals' problems are caused by... Some kind of sickness in the crops. That's what's making him crazy. I think I've seen everything. Is Menalcas affected by the gods, or is there a more earthly cause to his illness? I should talk to him. Eagle Bearer, do you know why the gods have cursed me? I think some infestation has taken root in your crops and is polluting your mind. What do we do? How do we appease the gods? This has nothing to do with the gods. I will set fire to the silo where you keep your harvest, and burn out the rot to clear your mind. I... I hope you are right, Eagle Bearer. That work gone to smoke. No one said it would be easy. It had to be done. I confess, I do feel a bit better already. Thank you for all your help and guidance. I think that's everyone Priestess Exioni mentioned. Time to find her again. <laughs> Wondrous Eagle Bearer, your name and glory drop from everyone's lips. My sisters and I wish to throw a grand festival in your honor. You will be the cherished guest. If you insist. However, there is one more who could benefit from your attention. Halkipi frets about her brother. In truth, he is a strange one, touched by madness. Or perhaps a chosen of the gods. Ah, here she is now. Speak to her, reassure her, and then we will celebrate. By the gods, it's you. It's me. It's you. By the gods, my prayers are answered. Speak to the eagle bearer, my child. You have come to help me. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Ah, yes, of course. It's my brother, Kalistratos. He's always been a bit odd, but this past year, I think the gods have cursed him. Oh, that is, I don't mean to offend. Uh, go on. Your brother? My brother's farm is a small way from the village. Always doing his own thing. I haven't seen him for days, but when I went to pass by, I heard terrifying noises. I think something might have happened, but I'm not brave enough to go see. I'll take a look for you. Thank you. Thank you, Eagle Bearer. You're too kind, too generous, too nice. Thank you. What can you tell me about your brother? Kalistratos always tries some new scheme or crazy idea. His last one was to breed chickens that would lay giant eggs. Each egg to feed a family, he said. And he'd sell them far and wide and become rich. What do you think happened to Kalistratos? I don't know. Maybe a lion or wolf got into the farm. Terrible noises nearly scared my hair white. I'm sure whatever it is would be no match for you, mighty Eagle Bearer. I pray he's all right. Where is your brother's farm? He has a large farmstead northeast of here. 
He doesn't take very good care of it, though. Always caught up in some crazy scheme. I'll visit your brother's farm and see what's going on. Let's ride! Watch will be vigilant here.
that he is. Mistios who saved your life. You could say thanks. Huh. Not sure you had to kill my best chickens, though. Your sister sent me to check on you. Halkipi was very worried and scared by the noises she heard. Looks like she was right to be concerned. So tell her I'm fine already. Hmm. Maybe I can get a goat from Masara and catch a lion and breed them somehow. Maybe with a snake. I'm sure I could make a fortune. Halkipi, your brother is something else, but he's alive, and I suppose well. Thank you, Eagle Bearer. Yes, <laughs> he is a difficult one, but you have answered my prayers. I will always be your devoted servant. Uh... The priestesses have begun preparing a great feast in your honor for all of Linu to celebrate you. It will be magnificent. Alexios, Calamity, Myrto has been struck down by illness. Take me to her. The girl was thrilled about the idea of the festival to honor you. She was rushing about, buzzing with excitement, when she suddenly collapsed. Please, Igolberg. Can you do anything for her? Did anyone see anything? Does she have any wounds? No, no insect or snake bites, but her brow burns with fever. What was Myrto doing when she got sick? She was preparing the meat you brought in for the festival, per the priestess's instructions. Where is Priestess Exioni now? I don't know. I overheard her calling out for help, telling people not to be scared, but she's vanished. That's strange behavior. I'll ask around and see if anyone else knows anything, and see if I can't find the priestess. Bearer, what did I do to offend you? Nothing. I just want to know if you saw what happened to the girl, Myrto. I saw the girl steal a taste of food for your feast, and she fell ill. She tasted it? Yes. I'm sorry. Please don't punish me. What? No, of course not. <sighs> oh, Eagle Bearer, do not curse me with your anger. What? Why would I curse you? Your anger is well storied. We seek only to please you, unlike that disrespectful waif Myrto. What did Myrto do? I could not say. I only know that Exioni called Myrto a wrongdoer and said you had punished her for her transgressions as a warning to us all. That is ridiculous. I need to find Exioni. Greyhair, where can I find the priestess Exione? You must know. The priestess and her sisters have a secluded retreat. None know where it is, for it is hidden from common eyes. I cannot say more for risk of offending them or you. Those women do not speak for me. Tell me now, or I'll get angry. Yes, yes. 
they appear from and retreat to a secret den past the border to Elise. Time to have words. in the cedar. Hold up. Exione, why did you flee from the village? I left to consult with my sisters. We needed to understand why the poor girl was struck down. Did Lenu offend the divine eagle bearer somehow? Or are we being tested by greater powers of Olympus? <sighs> are the gods testing our faith? Or yours? I don't want to play games. Please, tell me what you know so I can save Myrto. <laughs> of course, beloved eagle bearer. We want the same. We prayed for an answer, and it was delivered. In the sacred cave, there is a plant that can save her, but it is too dangerous for us mere mortals to descend into. I'll go get it. Zeus, that's a beast. The priestesses expect me to become bear shit? Malakas. First the bear, then the blood. Hoping for a martyr god, not a pissed off Mystios. Got it. Wait. This plant is nothing but pig feed. It won't do anything. Malaka! I killed your bear. You're here. You're alive. Very much so. And angry. You better have an antidote for poor Myrto, or else... <sighs> or what? You used my name to try to control the village. And when I arrived, you poisoned Myrto, and then tried to have me eaten by a bear. No, never. Yes, it's all true. <sighs> 
Shut your mouth, you insipid! Give me the antidote, Exione, before I turn you all into slugs and bury you in salt! Good. Now, return the wealth you've stolen to the village, or I'll make you wish you pissed off Ira instead of me. No! Eaglebearer! As you command! At once! We obey! Go! Do it! Κάπρος. Την μεταξύ των δύο και τη αποθήκη του ήταν ογμένη. I have the medicine for Mirto. Quick, let's give it to her. Alexios? Shh, rest. You did it. That was close. You need to talk to the villagers. Inside yourselves, you'll know that I am no god, and you can live for yourselves. Maybe you are right. Still, you saved my daughter. I'll never forget that. Thank you, Eagle Bearer, for giving us the courage to stand on our own. When I eventually finish your statue, it will be a reminder to the village of your message, and a guide for them to do for themselves. <laughs> Show the immense strength of character in helping the people of Rimu. I'm not taking the easy route with them, Lexius. I hope to capture something of your nobility in the final form, however long it takes. Let's go for us.
I should watch my step around here.
Δύναμε θερινή. Δύναμε θερινή. Δύναμε θερινή. Δύναμε θερινή. They'll be on high alert here. I don't blame you for wanting something better. We have a Who could have done that? You then! <laughs>
This is the city we could see from Mount Enno, Sikoros. I've always dreamed of coming here. Come on!
Come on. Easy. 
Let's hope no one notices me here. Come on. Sanctuary of Olympia, where the greatest athletes compete for fame and glory. the excitement in the air are you going to be like this the whole time we're here by the gods yes i'll try and win quickly then come now you must be feeling something <laughs> i'm just having fun with you who wouldn't be impressed it is a place of immortal glory you can be sure ira and zeus will be watching your performance closely oh no pressure then uh, forget that for the moment and let's enjoy the sights and see what Olympia has to offer. Isn't this magnificent? It's certainly impressive. Though I am sad we'll be missing the chariot races. Oh, what I would have given to see that. We should take in the sights and praise the gods to be here at such a time. Which sights should we see? There are so many. Let me think. The Temple of Zeus, the Altar of Zeus, and, of course, the Olympic tree. We should make an offering to Zeus for good luck in the games. see such an offering to the gods in Olympia itself. I've never seen anything like this. And this is nothing. On the final day, the Magiros will slaughter a hundred bulls for the Hecatomb to honor Zeus. I could eat. But that's not for people like us. 
What's wrong with people like us? My friend here would like to savor your offering. I have drachmi. Who won't say no to some extra drachmi? Mmm, delicious. Thank you, my friend. Gladly. I know how much this all means to you. Well, then, I think we have spent enough time here. Agreed. Let's go. We're in Olympia. It's only fitting we visit the Temple of Zeus. Unbelievable craftsmanship. Much better than the statue on Kefalonia. I heard it's one of the wonders of the world. And sculpted by your friend, Phidias. I'd hardly say friend. Even acquaintance might be pushing it. Can't you just feel the presence of Zeus and Ira when you stand here? I thought it was the wind. Don't mock the gods! I'm sorry. I don't want my feelings to cast a shadow on your day. Don't think yourself as tortured by the gods, but as molded for greatness by their hands. I am molded by no one's hands. If the gods know me, they watch in silence. <sighs> Come, let's leave this place. Fortunately for you, I have enough faith for the both of us. I'd like to see the Olympic tree. You brought me to see a tree? Not just any tree. This is the sacred tree from which the winner's cotinos are made. I'd rather have Drachmi than a wreath. A cotinos is no ordinary wreath. The olive branches are harvested by children and taken to the temple of Ira. There, the Helenodike, or judges, make the wreaths. I guess they'll be lighter to carry back to Sparta than gold. At least you see the practicality, if not the wonder, of the Olympic wreaths. Barnabas? Yes? Thank you for this. I hope I wasn't too much of a distraction. No, it was made better by your company. A flock of harpies couldn't dampen my spirits! We are at the Olympics! You're competing, and I believe you'll win! <laughs> Place 
Place your bets now. Who will win the javelin? It could be you. Come on, place your bets. Place your bets now. Aletis has plenty of rugby for you to win. Your pitch could use some work. You would attract more customers if you sounded more enthusiastic. Everyone's betting against Peter Kos. Rumor is he's off his game. If it's true, I'm going to be ruined. What if I recited a poem? One of Pindaros's. You know, to inspire him to greatness. Look, um, Peter Kos is good, but uh, he's not really that kind of athlete. All right. Let's hear your plan, then. Just go see what's wrong. See if there's a way to help him win. For Athens. For Drachmi. I'll see what's wrong with Pithecos. Thank you. I'll split the winnings with you if you can sort things out. Pithecos, Aleti sent me to help you. Really? Can you perform wonders? On occasion. My lucky javelin. It broke. Can you fix it? Aren't you meant to use the official javelins? Yes, but it was my lucky one. I can't win without it. When you say lucky, you mean special. As in made to give you an advantage. Look, my javelin was hollow as a reed and nearly as light. But it looked just like an Olympic one. If you really want to help, bring me another like it. And I'll win the games for Athens. And I'll let us. Where would I find such a javelin? Well, you could buy one, I suppose. Do any of your fellow Olympians have special javelins? Perhaps. Don't worry. I'll get you a javelin. Thanks. Maybe I've still got a chance to win. This looks like it'll work. You sell javelins? Of course! Lucky you, I still have some left. With the games on, they sell out fast. But are they any good? The best! Fly fast and true, rest assured. But they'll cost you. I'll take one. Thank you! And may it fly far! I got you a javelin. Good. Let's take a look. Here, take this. Hey, this javelin's amazing. Light, easy to handle, and most importantly, looks just like the real thing. I'm glad I could help. Go with Nikkei, my friend. I should find the lettuce. Place your bets. Place your bets now. Who will win the javelin? Good, you're back. Get it done? Of course. Excellent. How about a little bet on our boy, then? You can never have enough to rack me. This will be an easy bounty. Oh, that's a lot of rack me. The event's tomorrow. Make sure you're on time. Where were you? You missed everything. Look at this. What a magnificent throw. 
I'm glad I could help. Now a lettuce? For my winnings? Of course! It was a good day. We all profit. May your good fortune continue. Hey, Mistyos, would you like to learn about your future? The Oracle at Delphi ruined my life. You think I want to hear your lies too? No worries. How about I clean your sandals? My sandals are fine. Then what about your... I don't need anything. Go. Well, no accounting for things, but shoot yourself. What is it with the Olympics? Everyone's out to make Drachmi. Malaka, my Drachmi! Hey! Stop! Thief! Hey! Thief! Looks like Phoebe. And this nimble a thief. I have to find her. Street thief, just like you led me on a good chase, but I caught you. Hand it over. Hand what over? My drug, me. Give it back. Here, please don't hurt me. They made me do it. I didn't want to. Honest. <laughs> Hush. I'm not going to hurt you, I promise. But the captain will! Captain? Yeah, it's him that makes us do this. Us? The other street kids. Why is he making you steal? For the drag me, stupid! You should be more polite to adults. Why? What have adults done for me? Fair enough. Sounds like the captain needs a good talking to. Don't talk, just hit. He even stole my mother's necklace from me. Says I'll get it back if I steal from him. It's all that I had left of her. I'll help you get your necklace. Why would you care? You remind me of someone. Someone very special. Hey! Come back here! Thief! I should try to stay out of sight. Thank <laughs> you. 
necklace. Malaka kept it on him. I should return to Maya. that Malaka is on the market. He must be in on this scheme. Please! I only want you to spare me, and I'll do better. I'll look after the door.
I got something for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you! What happened to Alopex? You know, the guy who distracted you while I nabbed your purse? I spared him. He's promised to help you, and the others. Good, I always liked him. He used to share his food with us and stand up for us when the Athenian got mad. You'll do fine. Take care. Thanks for saving us from the Athenian. Now we get to keep everything we steal. <laughs> shown contempt for tradition. Please, I only wanted to see my son compete. You mean you wanted to gaze lustfully upon the bodies of the athletes? No, I swear! You have dishonored yourself and the games. Please, let me explain. No excuses. You know the price for your transgression. What crime has this woman committed? Exactly that. Her crime is that she is a woman. It's news to me that's now a crime. Shouldn't you lock yourself up first, then? I am the priestess of Dimitra. I preside over the games. She's a married woman who tried to watch them, disguised as a man, no less. And why is any of this a crime? For a married woman, there's too much. Temptation. Who are you? Kalipatira. I just wanted to see my son compete. My family has a proud lineage at the Olympic Games. My father, brother's nephew, and son have all won wreaths. Do I not have the right to see them? Enough of your lies. She doesn't deserve to be punished like this. This is nothing. Death is the punishment. She shall be thrown from the mountain. Help me. Prove I have a right to see my son compete. You have no right. You broke a sacred tradition, and for that, you will be punished. Your laws are wrong, and I'll prove it. As you're so outspoken in her defense, I will give you a chance. Present me evidence of Kalipatira's noble heritage, or she will die as she ruled, to appease the gods. I should find Kalipatira's son. He should be able to help prove his mother's innocence. Do you know Kalipatira? Hmm. I don't know her well, but she dotes on her son, and she's always making offerings. Offerings? For her husband. She's a pious woman. He's long since crossed the sticks, and she misses him terribly. But we all have our time. Thank you. You've been a great help. Do you know Kalipatira? I've seen that one, all right. Always hanging around the athletes' tents. Disgraceful, if you know what I mean. I'm not sure I do. All those young, oiled, rippling bodies gives you shivers, muscles everywhere. Oh, disgusting it is. And her a married woman and all. There's no harm in looking at an attractive man. Is there? Yes, yes there is. You young ones are always thinking with what's between your legs. And she definitely was. Saw her meet a man regularly on that bench over there. You saw her meet a man. Thank you. Hmm. 
the poem The Agoras of Rhodes, dedicated by Pindaros himself. 2K, always be proud, little one. Your father is the greatest of Pankratian champions. What's this? I have always longed for you. Kalipatira has an admirer. I'm looking for Kalipatira's son. Do you know him? I should hope so. It's me! Your mother told me you were competing in the Olympics. Just like my grandfather, the great Diagoras himself. That's good to know, but I need more. The priestess of Dimitra has accused your mother of sacrilege. Is she all right? What happened? She's fine for now. She snuck into the stadium to watch you, and I need to prove that she had the right to do it. If anyone did, it was matter. Her brothers were champions, as I am now. No one honors the Olympics like her. Thank you. Sit tight, and I'll prove your mother was in her right to attend the games. That priestess was in a hurry to carry out her sentence on Kalipatira. I should find them quickly. Come on. Kronos. Hey. Is that a baby or the omphalos you're eating? to carry out justice. Please, you must believe me! Wait! You found the evidence you were looking for? <laughs> yes, Kalipatira is the daughter of the Agoras. I found the poem of the Agoras of Rhodes, dedicated to the family by Pindaros. And this proves her story? I talked to her son and people who know her. She is a good woman who loves the games and respects the gods. Her family has turned out champions for three generations. Perhaps we have judged her too harshly. Her family has been a credit to the Olympic legacy. As you say, it would be a shame to tarnish such a proud family name. The gods forgive you. Go. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Nobody deserves such a fate.
Alexios, please. If these fools break the truce... Thief! You're on to talk, you devil-dealing dog! Nobody wants trouble here. You know what will happen to you both if you break the truce. Now, if someone can tell me what's going on... This dishonorable curse stole from me! Huh. You call me a thief? You're the thief! Enough! I'll ask the questions. Herodotus, what's all this about? This scum robbed me! Scum! I am from an honorable family! Only a lowly Ionian would steal! I said Herodotus. Uh, yes. I it seems both their treasuries were breached and their valuables stolen. If there has been a theft, why do you suspect each other? Because this... It's a matter of blood. Makar is from an eminent Vorian line. Mighty warriors, but rather austere. While Lelech is from Ionian stock. A grand tradition of artists and philosophers. You mean philanderers! Both sides are important. Spoken like a true Ionian. It seems unlikely that they would rob each other at the same time. You have to find out who stole their drachmi. I can't believe they would do this to each other. Whatever their issues, they've always respected the Olympic truce. I'll find out what happened, and protect the truce. If you prove it's Makar, I will reward you well. As will I, if you bring me evidence of Lelech's double dealing. And what if it's neither of you? Then, they will both reward you. Very well. Agreed. These crypts have been opened. There is no sign of forced entry. Hmm, a note. Take all that you can carry, and meet me at the ruins where we first consummated our love. Soon we will be free. <laughs> Did you see anything? No, no, not nothing. Far less than anything. So, you saw something? Well, only if you count torches. But they crept up on me, they did. Must have been at least 30 of them. Torches crept up on you? If there were 30 of them, why isn't the ground stomped flat? Eh, uh, those skin sandals, very soft. Don't leave a trace. Anyway, hard to tell how many as I was uh, unconscious. Tell me the truth, or I'll beat it out of you. Are you the thief? No, please. Look, it wasn't me. I, I fell asleep. Didn't see anything apart from the torches. And you didn't investigate? I didn't want to leave my post. But you'd already been robbed. If I deserted my post, I'd be charged with their election of duty. Then I'll let you get back to work. I've heard talk of ruins outside the city, and from what the guards said, the torches were heading in that direction. Come on. Thief. 
So, thieves, I finally catch you. Please, we're not thieves! Yet here you are, with stolen goods. You don't understand. This is rightfully ours. It's our inheritance. How can this all be yours? It belongs to our families. By blood, it's rightfully ours. If it's already yours, why not wait? Why steal everything now? We wanted a new life. One where we could be free and our love doesn't have to hide in the shadows. Who are you exactly? They are my daughter and his son! Father! This is how you repay me for raising you? By running off with some woman squirted from my enemy's loins? Why not put aside your feud, as your children have done? You're a mistress. Carry out your duty and kill the thieves. I will pay you handsomely. Pater, no! I agree. I will match Makar's price on this. Do what you were hired to do. You would kill your own son and daughter? <laughs> we have other children. Now, are you a mistress or not? I will not slaughter innocents. Your families would stand a better chance for the future without a boat of you. Oh. Everyone wants to bring me in now. I didn't want it to come to this. But now, we can forge a new future for our two families. One built on love. I wish you luck with that. This area will be well defended.
you'll make for some good training. I need to talk to him. Pankration here! Last chance to claim your spot! I'm here for the Pankration. You must be joking. The only fighter we're missing is Testicles. I'm Testicles. Your Testicles. The same testicles I went out drinking with last season. The one who made advances on my wife. And brother. Ah... Uh, the diet and training is... transformative. Obviously. The people came for a show. I'll give them one. This is unprecedented. But the crowd will riot if the Pankration is cancelled. Very well. The competition begins shortly. Time to go. Welcome all! It is my pleasure to introduce to you Kalias, a former champion here in the stadium. And now, 
an esteemed Tsars here in Olympia. My friends, it is an honor for me to introduce this event, one so close to my heart. The Pankration! I will not delay you with words, for we all want to see action. For Zeus, let the competition commence! Ha ha ha! I'll squish you like a bag! Say hello to Shadis! your best? That was but the beginning. What? Now that our contestant is warmed up, let's see what he can do against Erastos. Good luck. Don't blink or you will be seeing stars. Cloud loves you, but you're not done yet. Not done? A fine offering to the gods, wouldn't you say? Soon, we will return for the final contest. The mighty Alexios against our reigning champion, Voryavs! Oh. Astounding! To think I could be a companion to an Olympic champion. Oh, you're even better at sparring than I am. <laughs> Though, if Socrates were a more willing... a partner... Alcibiades, are you all right? I was with my friends, Dimophanes and Callias, respected Olympic judges, no less. Too much cheap wine? You look like you drank from Medea's cup. Medea's cup? You think he's been poisoned? You were celebrating? It's the Olympics. What's not to celebrate? We were at the Leonideon. If you've been poisoned, I need to find these judges. Poisoned? Do you think that they could be two, or...? No, never. They're good men. You can't think one of them. They host a celebration every Olympics to celebrate the sacred truce. Stay with you. I'll find out what happened. Extend to me your olive branch, and I will take the grove.
fragile enough. This was definitely poison. And Alcibiades wasn't the only victim. This proves it. Poison. It must have been added to the food and wine. This food smells strange. But it's not rotten. Hmm. Supply list for the celebration. And the merchant's name. Time to pay this Priam a visit. Now, we're going to have a conversation. Please, please, I, I was just doing what I was told. I'm not after you. I'm after whoever wanted this done. I don't know. I never saw him. I just thought he wanted to fix a race. But then I saw what started happening, and I knew they'd been poisoned. My friend, Alcibiades. I need to save him. You'll likely find the antidote up at Fort Goroibos. Whoever did this will pay. Go, and don't let me see your face again. Yes, thank you. I hope you have a coin for the day. I see him! Can't give this up! This must be the antidote. They'll be on high alert here. Finally found you! Oh. Oh. 
Leute dort. More wine, please, to wash away the taste. A treatment worthy of Hippocrates. I can already feel my stamina returning. <clears throat> Didn't you have one last fight in the Pancration? Let's go. to claim your spot. Your next opponent is Dorios. Claims to be descended from Heracles himself. I'm ready. You ever faced an Olympic champion before? No, but I've gotten this far. Well, you don't look the part. You're not even oil for Zeus' sake. I do have some oil. It could come in handy. And it smells good. I'll use it. Come to wish me luck? Of course! And if you win, you should come dine with me sometime. Maybe I'll hunt you down after the event, to take you up on your offer. Of course! After the event. smell better than last time. Let's get this over with. For Ira. We've seen our esteemed newcomer rise quickly to become a contender. But let's see how he does against our reigning champion, Zoria! The gods have looked kindly on these, our champions! But there can only be one winner! Sparta! Yours is eternal glory!
Ah, you are a welcome sight. Your beauty brings light into the darkness of what has become my life. It's good to see you too, Phidias. Now, this is important. No one saw you come here, did they? No. Why? You're sure you weren't followed? Good, good. They're out there, though. Watching. Waiting. You're safe here. Ah, my beautiful innocent. If only the gods would allow me time to grant you immortality in bronze. There'll be time. But the weave of my life is unraveling. I need your help if I'm to stop it. What makes you think you're in trouble now? The other day, I received a skitali and a note. Someone left you a piece of wood and a letter. I can see why you're frightened. Oh, it's so much more than that. What's so special about a stick? It's not just any stick. The skitali is used by the Spartans to send coded messages. Okay, so let's talk about your stick. Skitali! All right, Skitali. I need to get the code. Then I'll show you how it works. What did the message say? Look to your art. The King of Gods has a message to impart. Fantastic. That's not a message. It's barely possible as a riddle. It's obvious. The King of Gods. Zeus. Yes, and what am I? There are so many answers to that. But... Uh, I suppose you're a sculptor. Exactly! So where do I need to go? The Temple of Zeus, of course! It's here in Olympia. The clue for the Skitali should be around the statue. Okay. If it'll put your mind at rest, I'll help. Thank you. Now hurry and look to the statue of Zeus in his temple to find the message. Once I have the clue, I can decipher it with the Skitali. Don't worry. I'll be back as soon as I can. Phidias is paranoid, but maybe it's not all in his mind. <laughs> the 
This must be what Phidias was looking for. I should get back to Fidia so he can decipher the message. So, what was the message? Did it give you the information you were looking for? In a manner of speaking, the message you gave me, I wrapped it around the rod. You wrapped it around your rod? Yes, the Skitali. It's ingenious. The right message for the right rod. Wrap the cloth around it, and the letters should align, giving you the message. Yes, very interesting. But what did it say? It's directions. Well, don't keep me waiting. What did it say? It's a list of statues, and uh, there's something else, but it's not complete. Do you think the complete message will be revealed once all the statues have been visited? I would assume so. Someone's gone to a lot of trouble to ensure this remains a secret. Maybe it will reveal the identity of the ones who want to dispose of me. Will you help? Tell me what I need to do. There are three locations listed. Each region has a statue of some renown placed there. So it's safe to say that at each of these statues, there'll be a clue. Yes, it'll be quite a journey. The statues are scattered all over. There's one near Kithira, another at Thassos, and also Samos. What statue should I be looking for in Kithira? Oh, what an island. The birthplace of the goddess of love. How I wish I could go with you. It is a fitting place, then, to look for Aphrodite. Exactly. The island lies at the southeastern tip of the Peloponnesi. You will find what we seek at Aphrodite's feet. What's in Thassos? Ah, a controversial statue indeed. It can only be the one of Theagenes from this northern isle. Theagenes? The Olympic hero. It's even rumored that Heracles himself was his father. He was exquisitely immortalized by the sculptor Glaucis of Aegina. What statue should I seek in Samos? Well, it's not exactly Samos or Lesbos, but a small island nestled between. In the bosom of the ocean, one might say. Stick to the statue. What is it? Why, Poseidon, of course. It is as if you are watching the god himself holding back the waves. I should be on my way. This will take some time. Of course. But I am excited to see where this will lead. As am I. Stay safe, Phidias. You too. And return to me as soon as you have all the clues. Don't worry, I will. This won't be an easy task. But whatever the messages reveal must be important.
Come on. Come on.
Off we go. <laughs> This area will be well defended. Yeah. <laughs> 
they won't ask any questions. Best keep out of sight.
Let's hope no one notices me here. By Zeus, what's with the size of the boars in this country?
I should try to stay out of sight. Easy now. The sculptor has truly captured the beauty of Aphrodite.
The task is done. Here are the seals as proof. I'll be commander soon. And then I'll be crowned by the gods! The Athenians seem unsure how to react. Unlike Spartans, Athenians answer to the whims of ignorant peasants. It makes them slow to react. Spartans do what needs to be done, such as eliminating enemy commanders. I'll kill the fort commanders if it's what must be done. We've lost ground. You'll gain it back. I'm the only one of the generals who can. The wealthy don't understand the ugly things desperation makes people do. I'll take care of the fort commanders. That should help you regain a foothold. Go! Don't return until they've been disposed of. Understood. I'm glad to see you again. This boar was far harder to kill than the Caledonian one. But I've yet to meet a pig that can't be skewered. The gods chose well when they sent you to me. The gods may watch me, but they do not guide me. Then I feel for you. Artemis has always steered me right. And that includes in meeting you. Chance can easily be blamed on the gods. But can destiny? I'll return when I have more pelts. <laughs> 